Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. So today we're working on the Tesla. Oh yeah, this beautiful Model X, it's gonna get painted. So it's time to, like we said, paint it, but before we paint it, there's a lot of prep work that we need to do. Like take off this handle, which is gonna be fun, because there's not a lot of YouTube videos out there how to take off Tesla handles, Model X. And we're not picking up that door. Yeah, so we can't touch the door, we can't open the door, but we have to get the handle off, can't move the glass, and there's no information. Challenges, but you know, we'll figure it out. That's Worst case, tape it. Try not to. We're gonna 100% try to take this handle off like we did the other side, but we'll see. And then other than that, we still have a little more plastic pieces here. We gotta scuff everything. There's a lot of prep work to do ahead of us. But yeah, this thing is gonna look really good at the end. But you know, definitely gonna put a little bit of time in. It's about 11 o'clock at night, but it's a great time to start. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get it. Why not? Nobody, no distractions, you know. There's a lot of traffic during the day, people coming in and out. So we just gotta do it at night sometime. It's part of it. <laughs> It's all good, so let's go ahead and try to get this off, try to get some other trim pieces off without damaging anything, because we want to put it back. These are our good parts that we need, so let's try to save them, at the same time do a good quality job of painting, because that's what we do late at night. Anywho, let's go ahead and get right to it. So, before I experiment on our good door, I came back to our bad door that we had, and yeah, look, we have a handle, we have some chrome pieces. This one's not too bad, so I'm gonna try to carefully take that one off as well. That one on top and see how they're built. See what's holding them and try to get this handle off. It's definitely messed up, but it's still pretty. But just in case I have this one to play with to get some experience to take off our other one. So what do we have back here? A nice big hole. So we got some good lighting coming in, but it's still hard to see. I'm thinking it's behind these little holes. Try to get some bolts and yeah. So I'm gonna play around a little bit, try to get it taken apart and I'll let you know how it goes. And 10 minutes later, here we go. I actually got both of them off. I got the parts one and I got the good one. No big deal, it turns out it's just a cap. So you don't need to take off the whole mechanism and get behind there. So that's pretty cool. Able to move on to the next pieces. All right, nice and easy. Like I said, door trim thing came right off. I was actually able to find something online for that. That was pretty sweet. Helped out nicely. This trim molding came off no problem as well, but unfortunately this one is not that easy and I don't want to damage it because the window is up and it's holding that rubber seal. So we're gonna go ahead and tape it, but there's plenty of room. Nice big old gap. So that'd be fine. And same thing with this trim piece back here. I'm gonna just tape it up because I don't want to mess up this window, mess up something else. So that'll be fine. We'll go ahead and tape that up. But before I start washing or doing anything else, because I need to wash it before we tape it, look how dirty it is. We're gonna go ahead and put some tape right here, get all this sealed off, because we don't want water inside the Tesla. That's the last thing we want. So let's go ahead and get that taped up. getting ready to scuff. I went ahead and put some tape on there so I don't hit my trim pieces or my tail light. So I wanna make sure that's all safe. And now I can go ahead and get it wet and scuff it all down.
so we got into the paint booth finally after sanding it blowing it off with some air now we got to wipe it down make sure there's no water anywhere because we don't want water to seep through while we're painting because that happens and it's no bueno so pretty much we're gonna maybe blow it off one more time wipe it down and we're gonna start taping it up once more and uh, we're gonna have to be really careful and tape between all this make sure no trash or any dust flies out of there. You know, if you want a really nice paint job, you gotta make sure you prep it really good, you clean it really good, and you tape it really well. And if you do, then the chances of you getting trash is very low, you know? So, and we want a nice clean paint job. You know, white does hide a lot of things, but we still want a nice clean paint job. So pretty much let's get straight to it. We're gonna start wiping it down and taping it up because it's pretty late already and uh, we don't wanna be here all night. So let's just get straight to it. So finally we got it all taped up. It's looking really good. The next thing we gotta do is wipe it down and tack cloth it, which I already wiped it down, but pretty much what we're gonna do is put sealer on this door. And uh, I don't want to get any sealer on these parts because we're just gonna blend on them. So what I wanna do is tape up the quarter panel and the doors, the door and the fender, and just leave the, the rear door exposed we'll put sealer on it we're on tape it the sealer is going to dry and then we can start putting a base coat on and we're going to blend the base coat on both panels and go from there because it'll save us some time some materials so let's go ahead and tape everything up and then we're going to tack cloth and put some sealer down let's get straight to it
so pretty much I uh, taped everything and as you guys can see we don't have a black door anymore we have a, a sealer white door and pretty much why I taped it up is so when we start doing the base we just had to get one more coat on that we can blend it'll be a lot easier it'll save us some more time so pretty much we're gonna let this splash for another about 10 minutes and then we're start gonna put base coat on and probably base we're probably gonna do on this door at least four coats and then we'll start blending over and then we'll start doing pearl so let's get straight to it and put some base down guys it's the next day and the Tesla turned out great I'm really happy with the color matching and honestly it looks really smooth so really happy with the whole process honestly so that looks great really happy with that but honestly we can't move too much forward we can still put a lot of things back together but there's some modules we need to get back the airbags still need to get come back some things to get reprogrammed with the whole shock stuff so we'll see honestly we'll just let it sit for a little bit you know we'll cover it up make sure nothing happens but there's some other things we're waiting for to come back in so it might be a little bit to our next Tesla video, but that's okay. There's still other projects we gotta knock out, but yeah, happy with the results. But thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time.